From the Intellfluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellfluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. David Nazi is the host and CEO of Mixbus TV, a YouTube channel dedicated to professional recording, mix and mastering tutorials, music production tips and tricks, unbiased video reviews of pro and home audio gear, new tech and gadgets. David is also a platinum mix and mastering engineer and producer with a past as a professional musician. David has won awards and credits across many genres from rock to hip hop, metal, EDM and more. You can learn more at mixbustv.com. In 2014, you started Mixbus TV. Can you tell us a little bit about the channel and what led to you starting it? Um, yeah, the channel is, uh, is a channel dedicated to uh, mix and mastering tutorials for professional audio mixing and mastering. Uh, evolved into also uh, gear reviews and software reviews for audio because uh, somewhat I'm known for being very technical, so companies started to ask me, like, if I wanted to review, you know, their products or new uh, test new products and also develop them, uh, some of them. So yeah, um, I started the channel actually not knowing anything about YouTube at the time. <laughs> I did not know anything about like monetization or sponsors or nothing, nothing. Um, I was just looking for mixing tutorials and new ideas for myself because I'm not a YouTuber. I am actually a professional mix engineer. I'm a platinum mix engineer. And, you know, we want to just get inspired, you know, listening to other things or, you know, always looking for tricks, uh, new software. So I was looking myself for myself and uh, I couldn't find any. I was like, okay, like, uh, that's like so basic, like all, all the things that I could find. So I was like, I know like at least like a thousand tricks that like nobody's talking about. So like, you know, let's try to do it. And I started doing it uh, for my friends first because a lot of, because I was teaching classes in person. Uh, and so I started doing videos for my students because it was easier to go through, you know, each one of them. And that's how it started. Like one of my videos got very popular <laughs> and um, people started asking me like questions, like so many. I was like, okay, let's see what happens. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm very big into music myself. So I'm like, this will be cool. Right. Um, and at what point did you realize that influencer marketing was a viable revenue stream? Not long ago, actually, because uh, like I said, I, I didn't, I did not know anything about the marketing side of uh, influencer or YouTube or social media platforms. And I was, my job was mixing, which still is. Uh, after a while, uh, talking to some friends that had different kind of uh, YouTube channels, they told me, dude, you have like big numbers. I, back then I had only like 25,000. Uh, we are almost 70 now, but um, he told me, it, these friends of mine told me like, you can actually like monetize and make money out of it. And um, when companies really started me, started to asking me to do videos for them. And basically they're just asking me like, what's your fee? And I was like, what? <laughs> and that was it. Um, after that, I learned very quickly how the social media, how powerful the social media a market and platform can be so um yeah but it wasn't long ago really. <laughs> well i'm glad you kind of mentioned that brands were reaching out to you because sometimes brands don't do their due diligence and kind of look at what your niche is and yours is obviously music and mixing and mastering so what is some of the weirdest requests you've ever gotten from a brand I don't get many, probably because I look mean. People just like <laughs> so much <laughs> intimidated by it. Uh, but my like the one thing about my channel, even compared to other uh, the same on the same subject, other channel like mine, I just my audience is really amazing. Like I don't get trolls. I don't get. I probably received like five stupid comments and like nine like all the years that I had the channel so I don't get that many crazy requests um, I really can't think of anything like just funny comments here and there because of the way I look but we're all like a bunch of friends and that's it or my tattoos or something like that or you know 
not not any weird requests. Although I'm expecting those because I'm producing a, a female artist right now that was in a live stream with me. Like she's very pretty and everything. So like I'm, I'm waiting for the wave of comments when when that when she's gonna uh, start coming, you know, more on the channel. But so far, none. Well, I'm glad you kind of mentioned that you uh, were producing with another female artist because you teach recording, mixing, and mastering courses. You're an influencer. And this year you just started Mixed Bus TV Productions. So how do you structure your average work day? Oh, wow, that's a good question. First of all, my average work day is 18 hours. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I sleep very little. And this is just how it is because between the mixing jobs and channel uh, takes a lot of work, a lot of time. And now I moved back to Los Angeles not long ago. I moved back to Los Angeles in October. And um, I actually started producing more as a producer and manager, uh, specifically with this new artist, Bella. And uh, all these things takes a lot of time. So I usually start my day with my emails, which are so many every day. Um, and then I try to take care of uh, the more that I can of the comments of the you know my audience because it's very important to just keep in touch with them you know uh, be grounded and you know and keep replying to the comments as much as you can um, those are the guys that keep you know, your channel alive so you you need to make time for them um, and my old my old the whole the, the reason because I started the channel is because I felt good helping people so I keep wanting to do that as much as I can. After that, the rest of the day is mixing and dealing with uh, all the uh, business side of the music industry. So right now we are about to release uh, my artist's first single and video. So then the past two months we had a lot of work for the production of it, um, the video, and now there's all the promotional part before actually releasing which is not just releasing on youtube or spotify there's so much you know more when uh, there's an actually a, an actual official release so it's a lot of promotion a lot of cover covering all the platforms all the social media for her at this point because with her i'm basically her manager not just her producer so yeah my day is very long <laughs> i can't imagine having an 18 hour work day i'd be dead on my oh, feet yeah. yeah yeah and i also find time to train like five times a week because I have like I've been doing it for 20 years so it's like so ingrained in me and that's actually um, my my release stress release ball you know I, I kind of have to otherwise I'll probably be in jail or something <laughs> oh my god um, well I'm kind of glad you mentioned like working with so many different artists because I saw on your site that you have won a couple of awards and worked with many different people throughout the years yeah. Have you learned any tips or tricks when it comes to producing with different artists that you could share with anyone trying to get into the music industry? Yeah, absolutely. As for the, um, as for getting into the business, um, my, my best advice would be don't stress too much the technical side, which is, you know, kind of funny because that's mostly what I teach. Uh, on the channels, but uh, work, I would say 70% on your public relation, on the human connection that you that you build with people. Whether you want to work with musicians, go to shows, talk to them, uh, you know, go to events, go to networking parties, go to all the events where you can meet people and be in the, uh, in the industry, in, in the scene, the, the more that you can, because that's what gets you in. Um, there's a lot of great engineer and producers out there, which unfortunately nobody knows because it's not, it's hard today. We have so much information coming in your feed every minute that is basically almost impossible unless you have, you know, a budget to promote yourself and get ranked up and appear on everybody's feed. The first thing they see, it's really hard to be noticed just for your skills. So you need to work on your public relation. You need to work on, yeah, building contacts and connection, events, expo shows, 
do all of them like as much as you can <laughs> and then of course in your spare time you need to deliver that's one of my biggest uh again uh pe like i wouldn't say that you need to deliver more than you're asked that's what the standard nowadays is in music production specifically you know um everybody is today it's kind of easy to get a decent sounding product with the technology that we have basically if you don't mess up it could go out <laughs> but the difference between why uh, someone pays me to mix the record is the added value it is because you don't just do what the client asks you cover that the first day and then the second day you add you know your your magic touch and the client not only doesn't have to ask you for a revision but it goes like Please, what what what's that? That is amazing. You know, you need to wow the people that are around you. So, yeah, it's not easy, <laughs> but that's, that's the goal. That's really good advice. I like it. And for our last question, do you have any goals as it pertains to the music industry or influencer marketing for the rest of the year? Because I know uh, at the start of 2019, you just launched your mix butts TV productions. Yeah, that's that's right now my main goal. My my next step. Um, I want uh, the goal is to start with Bella. That's the name of the artist, and make her basically break her into the market mainstream pop market, and after that, hopefully extend um, mix butts TV production production to as many artists as we can. Um, I will, NAM will be another, another ex week expo that we will do in which hopefully we'll get, you know, more companies on board and, um, that's the main goal. It's to switch from being basically independent freelancer producer. Um, even if, yeah, as you said, like I had some words, I, you know, I, I'm happy with what I've done so far. That's definitely the next step is to go to the other side because my plan is to, if I can, to do it old school. So real A and R, go to clubs, see people, see good musicians. See, you know what? That guy kicks ass. Let's get it on. Let's try to make it. You know, that's the goal. <laughs> I don't know if we would we'll be able to do it, but we are we are on the right path so far. We are happy with uh, how the production went and what are we looking at for the next month so finger crossed and maybe mix by TV production will you know become big <laughs> want to join intellifluence as an influencer for free it's easy visit intellifluence.com click on the influencers link and then click on the join for free button to sign up once you have registered you will get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and well, you know the drill. Until our next episode, keep being awesome.